Hey YouTube, today I was fixing up my wife's MakerBot 2X 3D printer. You can get these relatively cheap, but being American uh, made, or at least designed, a lot of the spare parts are expensive. One of the things that often fails is the power supply. Um, and it uses a 24 volt power supply, but a four pin DIN connector on the end. So they're a little hard to source third party. So what I ended up doing is using an off the shelf 24 volt, 200 watt power supply that I happen to have, um, a closed frame type of power supply and just putting a external 120 volt plug on the printer. It's nice because the normal maker bot, this whole area down here is open. So there's plenty of space to just shoot two screws through the bottom of the, the floor here and screw them into the back of the power supply. And most of these power supplies have back and side mounting. So it's a very easy upgrade to do. So for the input power, I just cut a hole out and put a IEC style connector. So the common connector that would be used on most computer power supplies, etc., And screwed it into the plastic heat shrinked some 14 gauge wire for the power connections. The ground wire is undersized right now. Ideally, this should also be 14 gauge. If you wanted to make this a little safer, you could probably 3D print some sort of a cover here to just help cover up those contacts. Same goes with that on the power supply. It is finger safe for the most part due to heat shrink and this cover. Then looking at the rear view panel, we don't want people to plug another 24 volt power supply in once we wire that external one in place. So I just put a piece of tape over the original connector. Uh, you could probably again 3D print a plate or something to put on there as well. Looking at where the wiring for the 24 volts is going, it goes up, goes back here, it goes under the board and it is actually soldered on, the 24 volts is soldered on, on the bottom side of this PCB board to the switch and the ground is soldered onto a ground pad on the original connector plug for the board. If you have any electrical experience, it should be pretty easy to figure out which is which. Um, unfortunately, I don't wanna take the board back off for this video.